what else should I buy on Shopee today? Oh my god! I just remember that tomorrow is seminar in management accounting and blind test. I will pick up I used to ask him what I should I focus on. Hello Shamin, why do you call me? Ayus, I need a help. I did not study for tomorrow's test yet. Do you know what topic I should focus for tomorrow's test? Oh really? Don't worry, I remember Madam said to focus on the topic uh, Blue Ocean Strategy and Competitors Analysis. So, uh, do you know anything about it? Yes, I know a little bit about that. Do you mind if I explain it to you right now? Sure, Min. Why not? I'm not even busy right now. Carry on. Alright, uh, for the first one, I will explain to you the definition for the Blue Ocean Strategy. Uh, Blue Ocean Strategy is the formation of new and unique market, arrivals become irrelevant, new customer value, and exploit the market. Uh, the purpose for the Blue Ocean Strategy is to find and develop any unconsistent or growing market, blue ocean, and avoid the overdeveloped and saturated market, red ocean. Uh, for the second one is to aim for more success, fewer risks, and increased profit. And for the competitor analysis, uh, the definition is an assessment of the strength and weaknesses of current and potential competitors. Uh, this analysis provides both an offensive and defensive strategy to identify opportunities and threats. For the first one is offensive strategy, actively uh, trying to persuade changes with the industry. Uh, company invests highly in research and development and technology. And the second one is defensive strategy, management tools that can be used uh, to protect and attack from a uh, a potential cast competitor. Okay, now uh, let's move to the differences between the competitor analysis and blue ocean strategy. For the first one, competitor analysis compete in existing market, align organization with differentiation or low low cost, focus on serving better the current customer beat the competition and for the blue ocean strategy uh, new market creation or reconstructing market align organization with differentiation and low cost aim for new group of customer aims to make competition irrelevant and then um i think that's all i know regarding uh, the topic can you tell me more about this yeah, sure, I do know a little bit more. So well, as you can see, other than that, you should know also the strength and weaknesses of the Blue Ocean Strategy. So basically, one of the strengths of Blue Ocean Strategy is that it cooperates with organizations to find uncontested markets and avoid uh, matched and saturated markets. Other than that, Blue Ocean Strategy also enables a fundamental transformation in mindset and it develops uh, mental horizons and help in recognizing the opportunities. And lastly, it creates uh, Blue Oceans is non-zero sum with high payoff possibilities. Well, for the weakness for Blue Ocean, it is quite difficult to produce futuristic ideas and identify colossal and untapped markets. Other than that, it nominating an articulate blue, stat, uh, blue ocean strategy is a result of a calculated and detailed research process backed by extensive analysis. So it is uh, to be kept in mind that there is no magic formula or silver bullet. And also venturing into the market in the early phases comes with a baggage of risk. So there's a high possibility that the customers might not understand the grassroots of the products and services because the absence of a fully developed technology. And also you should know the strength and weaknesses of competitors analysis because the strength of competitors analysis is that it enables the company to identify gaps in the market for products, services or initiatives. It gives the ideas for new technology, methodology and also assist company to price its good 
uh, and services both competitively and strategically so it better in targeting the customer and the weaknesses for competitors analysis is that it flawed analysis might lead in making poor decision making also too much focus on the activities of the competitor lead it, uh, to become reactive and misidentify the market needs as well other than that you should also know the method of uh, blue ocean strategy or you could say the tools for the blue ocean strategy so the first one you have strategy canvas you have value innovation you have action framework you have six the six pass uh, you have the six pass framework and also you have the three tiers of non customers and also for the method and on how to conduct the competitors analysis is that you can make a list of competitors uh, which uh, to prioritize top competitors uh, to a manageable list and then you can start with their websites collect the key data and also take notes and then you, uh, you can delve a little deeper and also look into into their current and past strategies next uh, you can create uh, your content which is to uh, help create your own and last but not least is the SWOT analysis for uh, the competitors and the market analysis say you mean uh, since this topic is so important for tomorrow's test why don't we ask all of our friends uh, to discuss about it together tonight we can meet on discord that's a very good idea i will inform them as soon as possible about tonight great i will see you tonight on discord goodbye min goodbye are you see you later Hello everyone. Hi. Uh, so guys, uh, I think we should discuss together about the topic blue ocean strategy and competitive analysis tonight. Yes, yes, I've studied regarding that topic. Yeah, me too. Today, can you tell us what you know about this topic? Sure, Amy. So guys, the thing I understood the most about our blue ocean strategy is the way to apply it. In order to do this, we need to understand the competition that is happening and how to manipulate it. To do this, you need to create blue ocean strategy canvas. A strategy canvas is the most fundamental tool used in the blue ocean strategy framework. It is designed to give you an immediate snapshot of how your business uh, will stack up against the competition. To get started, first list the product or service you want to compare. In this example, I'm going to compare the following smartphones. For example, like iPhone 5, Droid Razer, and Moto X. Okay, these uh, products will be listed on the row side. And the next thing to do is the attributes or factor of competition that those products compete on. For this example, I'm going to list the following attributes of the smartphone. For example, such as the processor, the battery life, the camera, or SD memory storage. These attributes will be listed on the uh, column side of the table. So, the next step in creating the strategy canvas is to rate each product from 0 to 5. Um, ideally, you would have customer survey data to back up this rating and make sure the ratings were not heavily influenced by your biases. So guys, now that you already have the graph, it's not completed yet. There are 4 things that you need to know for, uh, for you to manipulate the graph. The 4 things are to raise, to reduce, uh, to eliminate and to create. So from the graph, as you can see, for Droid Razor, it has uh, come up with the strategy to raise their uh, thinness. So in 2011, it has uh, Motorola has come up with the idea to come up with the thinness uh, mobile phone in the market. So they have uh, tried to do this in order to raise their competitive advantage. But in order to do this, they need to reduce other aspects of the phone. So for example, they reduce the battery life and the camera. So uh, for example, uh, other than that is for Moto X. Google wanted to uh, make a phone that is uh, can be customized. So uh, in order to do this, they do not uh, do not raise or reduce any of the any of the other attributes. But uh, for them to create a, a competitive advantage, they create one thing that has never been done before in 2013. I guess uh, is to create customizable color for the mobile phone. And of course, for iPhone 5, uh, they wanted to raise the quality of their camera. So in order to do this, they eliminate the SD memory storage. So there are no SD memory storage in uh, iPhone phone, but there are only internal storage.
Now that we already understand about the Blue Ocean Strategic Campus, next we need to consider the value innovation. How do we know the value innovation? We need to consider two things. The first thing is the cost saving and another one, the increased value. Uh, the cost saving is for the supply to uh, increase their profitability and another one, the increased value is for them to appeal to the customer to create value that the customer would demand. So, uh, how do we do this? Uh, it relates to the four things that I already mentioned before, which is uh, eliminate and uh, to reduce is for them to uh, save the cost and to raise and create is for them to increase the value. So. And now that I already mentioned about these four things uh, pretty frequently, what are these four things? These four things are the four action framework. The first one, eliminate, uh, is to determine which factor that the industry has located on that should be eliminated. These are the attributes or factor that uh, is outdated in the market uh, that the company should uh, consider eliminate. And next is uh, to raise. Uh, which factor should be raised well above the industry standard. These are the attributes that is demanded in the market that should be raised, that should be more offered in the market so they can increase their value. So next is to create. Which factor should be created that the industry has never offered. These are the attributes that is never uh, offered in the market but has the potential to be uh, well demanded in the market. So uh, customer, uh, so suppliers should, uh, should focus on this. And next one, the last one is to reduce. Which factor should be reduced well below the industry standard? These are the attributes that is still relevant in the market but is not well demanded. So they can reduce this in order for them to raise the other attributes. You should do a no a lot then. Thank you, Tina. Do you want to share anything about this topic? Ah, uh, why not? Okay, now, I will explain about what do I understand which is six part framework of blue ocean versus competitive strategies. For the first part of blue ocean is looking across the alternative industry. One of the primary limitations we place on our organization is making the assumption that our product or service compete in a defined and unchanging industry. Try to find the alternative industry to your industry where your customer commonly seek substitute or alternatively to your offering, which means we have a very narrow view of the environment in which our company competes. By focusing on the keys that lead buyers to trade across alternative industry and by eliminating or reducing everything else, you can create a blue ocean of new market space. For the second part of blue ocean strategy is look across strategy groups within industry. Strategy groups within industry are a group of organization within an industry that pursue a similar strategy. Strategy groups are usually built on two dimensions, price and performance. Thus, by looking across strategy group and organization, have to find why do buyers straight up for the higher group and why do they trade down for the lower one. For the third part is look across the chain of buyer. There are a chain of buyer who are indirectly or directly involved in a buying decision. First, purchaser who pay for the product service. Second, actual user who use the product or service. And third, influencer who have a role to play a decision. Throughout the identifying a new market group within the chain of buyer, a product and or its marketing can be repositioned to attract a whole new group of buyer. For the fun part is look across complementary service and offering. What are the product and service that are required to use your product or services? For example, if a movie theater wish to attract couples, babysitting will often be required as a part of a night out. Second example, a car requires a mechanic and petrol and third example is an 
an airline trip requires a car, bus, taxi to and from the airport. For the fifth part is look across functional emotional appeal to the buyer. Where the buyer appeal is reversed from one to the other blue ocean are often found. Product and service are often provide either a functional or emotional appeal. One of the great example was Swatch, who many many years ago revolutioned the affordable watch industry by turning a functional instrument into a fashionable desire watch that was inexpensive to purchase. And the last part is look across time and trade. All industry respond to the trend at the point they are making an impact. They create reactive strategy which allow them to adapt to a changing environment. One of the greatest brands to look across again and again has been Apple. Years ago, industry thought Apple have gone mad when they removed the floppy disk from the iMac because Apple anticipated the CD and USB will replace the floppy disk. Sharp ways anticipate on 3D printing by offering a service enabling everyone to bring their ideas to life. Now I will proceed with the rate with the competitor strategy. As such, Red Ocean Strategy. Red Ocean Strategy already contains a number of competitors. You can think of the color of red being used in the term Red Ocean because of the blood bath that a highly competitive marketplace can sometimes feel like. A Red Ocean Strategy is a strategy which aims to fight and beat the competition. Red Ocean Strategy has the following common characteristic, which is they focus on competing in a marketplace which er already exists. Second, they focus on beating the competition. Third, they focus on the value or cost trade off. The value and cost trade off is the view of the company has choice between creating more value for customer but at a higher cost or reasonable value for a customer at a lower cost. In contrast, those who attempt a blue ocean strategy aim to achieve differentiation and at the same time with low cost. Fourth, they focus on exploiting existing demand and five, they focus on execution. A red ocean strategy ultimately leads to an organization choosing to follow one of two strategies which is differentiation and or a lower cost. Whichever is chosen, the organization must align all the activity with one of this strategic direction. A good example of red ocean strategy is European Align Operator Rene. They are competing very successfully in the already saturated red ocean of the short haul airline business. Their strategy is focusing on providing a low cost, no frills airline. It's able to achieve low cost through many methods including using sub secondary airport further away from a city than the main airport. Allowing only booking and check-in and require customer to pay for all extra among us the method. With Rene, the service is not great of differentiated in a some way of other carriers but it's cheap. So I guess you I guess that's all for me. I hope you guys understand what do I explaining. Thank you. Thank you Shamin. A minute. I think I can explain a little bit more about this topic. Really? Uh, okay I mean please proceed. Okay, let me proceed. I have found out this information in article. For your information, example of company that use Blue Ocean strategy is Apple or we can call it iTunes. As we can see in the late 1990, Apple observed a flood of illegal music file sharing that enabled by fashion program such as Napster, Kaza and LimeWire. By 2003, more than 2 billion illegal music files were being traded every month. With the technology out there, anyone can digitally download music for free, and the trend towards digital music was clear. 
Apple capitalized off this trend with the creation of iTunes in 2003. With the launch of iTunes, Apple unlocked a blue ocean of new market space in digital music that it is now dominated for more than a decade. And how the company benefit from it? Basically, it offers legal, easy to use and flexible arcade song downloads iTunes brought a key customer annoyance factor, which is the need to purchase an entire CD when they wanted only one or two songs on it, but allowing people to buy individual songs and strategically pricing them far more reasonably. iTunes received some 70% of the purchase price of digitally downloaded songs, at last financially benefiting from the digital download increase. In addition, Apple further protected recording companies by diversing copyright protection that would not inconvenience users. It has now sold more than 25 billion songs and iTunes is estimated to account for more than 60% of the global digital music download market. So, when the iTunes entered the market, it solved the recording industry problems of consumer illegally download music while simultaneously addressing the demand for digital alakat songs. iTunes Blue Ocean strategy created an entirely new category of music sales that allow artists to profit and consumers to buy single songs versus entire album. iTunes has dominated this market space for years and is largely credited with driving a growth of digital music. Okay, let's proceed to example of competitors' analysis. It is applicable to the Samsung vs Apple. Samsung would say Apple as its main competitors. It involves the company to produce similar products with the demand from the consumer. They compete in world's largest manufacturer of mobile phone and smartphone. Although Samsung also manufactured of television and LCD panel, Samsung is regarded as the world's second largest consumer electronic company with its arrival, which is Apple, in cooperation reported with larger revenue. And now, the question is, how the company benefit from it? This technique enables Samsung and Apple to identify gaps in the market by analysis SWOT. SWOT analysis enables the firm to compare the performance of business with competitors. In order to analyze competitors, the firm have to gather information for the competitor's profile, competitor's advantage, target market, market shares and strategy, product or service profile, price and cost distribution channels. For strength, Samsung differentiate the product line and innovation and design capability. Meanwhile, for Apple, it is a strong brand outstanding advertising and robust financial performance. For the weakness of the Samsung is that they come out with many products that may lose focus. Meanwhile, for Apple, the price is too high and incomparability with the different operating system. In terms of opportunity, Samsung has strong customer demand on their product. Meanwhile, for Apple, they have high demand and strong growth mobile advertising market. The threat for Samsung is increasing competition, which pattern and price war. Meanwhile, for Apple, increasing competition, uncertain global economic condition, and rapid technology changes. At last, in conclusion, Blue Ocean strategy can be applied across the entire value chain from product to services to delivery and across industry. To create a Blue Ocean, innovation is a key. One must look into the future and imagine what a developing trend will look like and its logical conclusion. When supply exceeds demand, Blue Ocean strategy is the right solution to that situation and it is more relevant because many companies adopt that strategy to gain lucrative new market. Wow, well I guess we have learned a lot tonight. True, but I think we should revise by ourselves a bit and go back to sleep since it's almost midnight guys. Yeah, I agree with you now. Thank you everyone for tonight. Yes, okay, thank right, you everyone. Night. I wish everyone all the best tomorrow. Okay, good night. Thank you. Alright, uh, thank you. Good luck. Good Bye. Luck. All the best.